What's up, YouTube, and welcome to some Limb from Limb. So this is going to be my first attempt at this game. So I just transitioned from, or not transitioned, but I was streaming Buckshot Roulette a little bit earlier today. So now I decided to switch over to this to give this game a try. So I saw Ensign play it. It looks really interesting. So, and then when I found out that when he mentioned that it was free, I was like, you know, screw it. What, what could go wrong? So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what happens. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But other than that, let's go ahead and hop into the game and not waste any more fucking time. Welcome, patient. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our limb regrowth program. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry, you're not alone. There is another patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing, but luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility, with the human statuette representing you. Your goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful, some tiles, represented by various colors, will initiate certain events, and you might not find all of them to be pleasant. A small cabinet has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions, and left-click to move them on and off the provided medical tray to equip them. Be sure to use your items strategically, as once they are used, they are gone forever. In the case that you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. Alrighty, so... Assuming if I saw that correctly when they showed the tiles that you have to sacrifice limbs to purchase stuff from the store All right, so Your item collection place items to in tray to bring with you to card games. So what is this? patient fingers collected Infrared camera a camera with the ability to detect heat signatures use this to reveal all card currently in your hand Okay all right, so we don't need to listen to the message again. So let's go ahead and see if we could find a way out. So what's that one? Is that the store was that the store? Choose one item to add to your collection. Oh, okay. So what's this? Pickled snake. I got a snake whose aroma is that of flowers and vinegar. Revealed all cards in any's hands. Eye of Foresight. A gal's eye obstructed by a thick layer of cataract. Reveal a selected card's value. Ooh. Right, let's go with the pickle snake. Piece of candy. Find your first item. Achievement. Alright, so back to the board. Oh, hold on. No, never mind, hold on. Let's go ahead and equip it really quick. Oh, never mind. It's automatically equipped. I guess we could put. Oh, I guess we could only hold so many items on the game on the gaming tray. All right, so let's go back to here. All right, so oh, we get to we get another item. I'm assuming that's cool. Choose one item to add to your collection: the cross, holy cross. A cross bearing the likeness of an idol of worship. When used, a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any. Matchbox. A matchbox containing a few matches. Keep dry. Burn all cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable. Won't be added into the deck until after the battle. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with the cross. And then let me make sure that got added to our tray. Yep, there it is. All right. Now let's go ahead and navigate the board again. All right. Go back down. Left. Blank spot. Hmm. Not sure if that's technically our exit, but let's go up. Oh, found another item. All right. So, I guess 
so far somewhat starting off good seventh hand a seventh hand it is still warm this got all cards in your in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards hmm that nah, bucket might as well get a little variety of spice right all right now let's check the cabinet again oh i think the hand is already on there but let me just double check So does that mean that we're maxed out? We can only carry, I'm assuming, five items? Even though it looks like there's still space on the tray to carry more items, but... Let's see where we go now. Alright, blank spot, good. Not sure what that means. Alright, so far so good. Alright. Oh, another item. What's this? Pocket knife. A world-aged pocket knife. Its blade more blunt than sharp. Reveal an enemy card. Burn all cards in your hand. Running them unplayable will be added into the deck until after the battle. Now right, let's go with that. Okay, yeah. So we're only. So I'll just save that and see how things go once we get into our first card match. All right. Okay, now we're about to get into a first uh, match. All right, here we go. <clears throat> During your encounters with the other patient, a standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All revealed cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you've used all the cards in your hand. Of course, and your deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences. But if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. If three jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws the third joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Should you win the game, you'll be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you'll permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. This procedure is still a work in progress after all. Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project and you will be retired. Any fingers you collect from your opponents can be kept in trade for items in the item shop the location of which is noted in blue on the game board. You can see your collection of fingers in a jar located in the game board room cabinet. In case you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph located in the game board room. All right, interesting. So if we have no death cards and we on the third joker, then we automatically lose a finger. That sucks. Pookie, play a card game with another patient. All right there, um, creepy guy. You kind of look like something out of Resident Evil. Death card count one. Got, got an itch that I can't reach. All right, so... Fuck. So there's one death card. Watch, I get the death card. Nope, cool. All right. What about you, sir? Nope. All right, so far so good. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> oh, there goes the thumb. All right, I'm assuming he got a say. Well, actually, we just gotta play the till the deck's done now, because there's only I had the only death card. Go fucking figure.
All right, so clearly he has no death cards. So how many death cards are this? Though? So three death cards. All right, one Joker. He's safe. All right, I'm safe. God damn it. All right, that's two Jokers. Hopefully he doesn't have the third Joker. Up. Oh. Gotta lose that finger, buddy. That's one way to remove your finger, just bite that motherfucker off. All right, so so one of us it's 50/50 or one of us is fucked and has two death cards. All right, cool. Oh, so I guess he had both the death cards. So that works out in my favor. You lost another finger there, buddy. All righty. So then this sh should be safe. Oh, three jokers. But of course, Well, I have no cards to check, so it has to be him. Up, oh, there we go. Lost another finger. So he's down to two fingers now, I think. <laughs> Alright, so two death cards, so... Alright, so safe. Here we go. Alright, so... Alright, so far so good. Safe. Hmm. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> All right, so let me see. When you use a single death card, will be removed from your current hand, if any. Reveal all and no, I don't need to see that. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards. Alright, so it's 50 50. Alright, cool. Hopefully he has the last death card. Nope. Alright, so instead of losing a limb, when use a single death card, so it's a miracle. Use the Holy Cross item during the gameplay. All right. So, yep. There, there. I did have the other death card. So there's two death cards again. Let's go with the middle. All right. Save card. Save card. Save card. That lost that last finger there, buddy. Chew and lose. All right. So now, since I'm assuming since we used the cross, we lost it. So let's go ahead and add these here matches. And speak. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to find the store on this board. So, let's go ahead and do some more walking. Nothing. 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 Alright. Alright, get another item. Alrighty. What's this? Whistbow. A bone from an avian creature that is said to bring good luck when broken. Forces the enemy to take another turn. I'm not sure if it's Avian or Avion. I'm, uh, it's probably Avion. Alright, so we'll take the Wishbone. But, we will save it for right now because I think we are full. So let's see what's in this corner. Nothing. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Another card battle. All right, here we go there, buddy. Good to see ya. All right, let's, uh, so three death cards. All right, save card. Save card. Yeah. Save card. All right, get rid of that finger there, buddy. 
All right, so that's. Save card. All right, so it's either 50-50 or I have the two death cards. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards. Fuck. Shit. Nope, oh, gotta lose that thumb. <laughs> if this is real life, you know that. Oh, so he got the other death card, so now the rest are safe. Joker. So, if this, as I was saying before, if this is real life, he'd be screaming bloody murder if he. Oh, shit the bed. Six death cards. Alright, fuck it. Shutterbug. Use the infrared camera during item during a card game. All right, so we got two death cards, one joker. All right, so I'll save the joker. So hopefully he draws a joker, and then I can draw the third joker. All right. Safe. All right. Lose that finger there, buddy. Oh wait, so wait a minute, so I have two, so that means he has to have the other three, or he has like the, 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 uh, uh, the, he has, so he actually has four, so one of them has to either be a joker or a safe, and then the rest are all death cards. Alright, so let's see what happens. Lose that finger there, buddy! Alright, so I guess we'll just throw out the Joker, unfortunately, since that's all we have left. Yep, last finger. Alright, so that was an easy round, but then again, it came at the cost of me sacrificing some items. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and grab that wishbone really quick. Wishbone. Alright. So, so far, I don't want to jinx myself, but so far I'm doing a little bit better on this than I was to compare to Buckshot Roulette. Alright, so we get another item that we get to, t that get to take and use. Alright, so... Let's grab the pickled snake again. That might come useful when the death card count increases some more. Uh, I had a feeling that I'm. I wonder if the blue is the exit, or is the blue the store, or the blue is just showing that it's just the center of that map, of that board, I should say. All right, so three death cards. All right, so I'm safe. What do you got there, buddy? Give up that finger. All right. Here we go. So let's go with the left. All right, safe. All right, so he's safe. All right, so I'm safe. What you got, buddy? All right, so he's safe. So it's... It's either a 50-50 or I got the two death cards. Go ahead, buddy. When birds fry, use the wishbone item during a card game. Ah, fuck. Shit. All right. Oh, so he has the other death card. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so how what's we got? So two death cards. Wait. Oh, so he's gotta have the two death cards. That or maybe 
Joker. Oh, shit. So does that mean not? So does that mean that there's three total, or does that mean that he has two? No. So there's got to be three. So he's he's got to have two because it showed two at first, and then showed three when I got my hand. So he's got to have two death cards. So let's go, Bach. <sighs> Yep, there goes that index finger. Alright, so he just pulled a death card. So, he should have the last death card. Alright, so I'm safe. Alright, safe. Alright, that's got to be a death card. Yep, say goodbye to that finger. You only got one more left there, good buddy. Alright, so two death cards. Four, so that means it's two and two. Alright, so I might have to resort to the matches if I get down to one finger. All right, safe. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> oh, never mind. He lost. All right, so he's done for. So far, I'm benefiting a lot from this game compared to the Z buckshot that is roulette. Alright, take some pickled snakey. Alright. Let's go left. Alright, so what is that symbol? Facility patron, locate the item shop. Okay, so the blue is for the items. Exchange patient fingers for items. Eye of foresight. Eye of foresight, reveal a select, reveal a selected card's value. Oh, okay. Reveal an enemy card. So let's buy a holy cross. I have eight fingers. So, uh, uh, pocket knife, reveal an enemy card. So, so we got six, so we'll save those. All right, so let's take out. All right, so what's this one? Oh, that's patient fingers, matchbox. Sever hand, discard all car. Okay, so yeah, so we'll we'll keep that for right now, like that. <coughs> <coughs> all right, go up. All right, another dismemberment match. See how this one goes. How's it going there, good buddy? Glad we can keep each other company. So four death card counts. All right, so let's go ahead and just start now. All right, so yes, I did have one death card. Uh, let's see. And of course, I picked the other death card. All right, so either he has two, or I have two, or it's one and one. All right, so I'm safe. What you got, buddy? Ah, uh, shit. Joker. All right, what you drawing there, good buddy? Lose that finger. All right, so it's still 
it's still early, so we'll just go ahead and draw that. And of course, I had three out of the four, which sucks. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so I obviously from the start have two death cards. Wait, isn't he supposed to go again? Or I mean, isn't he supposed to go? Or did he already go? So I have two death cards, which sucks. Burn all cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable. Won't be added into the deck until after the battle. Alright, fuck it. Alright, so, so we're safe. And that's going to be a save card for him, obviously. So how many death cards is he going to get? So he's got one. Motherfucker. Alright, so... Um... What's this one for? Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards. And then burn all cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable. Let it burn. Use the matchbox item during a card game. Achievement. Okay, so now there's two death cards, so... That means it should be one and one, right? Because he had it only went up to three. All right, so another Joker. All right, give up that finger there, buddy. All right, let's see. So one death card. So obviously I have the death card. All right, so I'm safe right now. All right, cool. So we will inspect ourselves. Yep, there we go. Wild card. Using the Joker card ability, successfully remove a death card. So that worked out into my fa in my favor. Another Joker. So one death card so far. Safe. All right. So how many death cards? And so he has two death cards, and he has three fingers left over. So I only have one. Another Joker. He's safe. Alright, there goes a finger, unfortunately. Alright, so what does he get? Oh, he's got to lose a finger. Alright. Alright, so... He should have the other death card, right? Yeah. I think I only had one. Alright. Safe. And safe. So yeah, he has the last death card for this hand. I did. Oh shit, I got three? Discard. Yeah, fuck that. A helping hand. Use the severed hand item during a card game. Fuck. That wasn't even any fucking better. I mean, yeah, it's one less death card, but give me a fucking break here. Alrighty. Oh, there goes all my items. Alright, so two death cards. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait, so he must have... No. No. So he must have the majority of the deck cards then, because I thought I had the majority. I'm already fucking lost. Death card. <laughs> oh, there goes that ring finger. Oh, we got left this the pinky. Alright, so he's safe. Alright, safe. Come on, death card. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, game over. Or, it's not really game over just yet. We just lose, what is it, two fingers permanently? Which sucks. Alright, so we lose, if I remember correctly, I think we just lose two fingers permanently for right now. But, other than that, we're, we, we are still able to play. I think if we lose two more times, then we're pretty much... F-U-C-K'd. Alright. 
Too bad there wasn't, I'm not sure if there's an item or not where you can actually permanently restore a limb. So we'll take the matches again. Because that would be really helpful. Alright. Here we go, some more exploration. And of course, another uh, card game. Uh. Well... We first started off lucky, now we're getting into matches, but at least it's, uh, I'm lasting a lot longer than I did in, uh, fucking Buckshot Roulette. So, four, so it's either, hopefully it's two and two, but I have a feeling that I have the majority of the death cards. Let's use the Pickle Snake. My Reptilian Friend, use the Pickle Snake item during a card game achievement. So it's a pickle snake, but it's technically alive. Ah, oh, fuck. So I got three death cards. Ain't that some bullshit? Alright, so he's got one death card. I got three. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Nothing happened. Or did it actually reset and I just got four fucking cards again? Uh, well, Age, Bug, and I reveal an enemy. Oh, well, I already did that, so. Well, I'm bucked. Because now I'm gonna lose all three fingers because I have the most death cards. <laughs> and just like that. The game does not like me. Alright, save. Alright, so he drew a save card. Yep. Game over. Well, not game over yet, but now I'm down to one fucking pinky. Which means I'm basically fucked the next card game. see what happens probably nothing but getting effed in the A all right so I found an item so I'm gonna assume that there are no items where you can get your limbs back any of your limbs oh hold on what's this Jack in the box a box containing an unsurprising surprise forces your opponent to redraw their current hand I mean I guess that can and cannot be a good thing I mean, don't know. All right, let's uh, add this to our tray. Oh, never mind. It's already added to the tray because we had space. So I guess when you have free space, I guess it automatically gets added from the start. Unless it's already on the shelf, then you have to re-add it. Okay. All right, let's go down. Yep. This is where I die. Because I'm only down to one fucking finger now. Three. Fuck it. Alright, safe. Game over. Oh. It was a okay run. Alrighty, so we lose. Retired. Failed to complete the experiment. Achievement. So you get an achievement for fucking losing, apparently. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this another round, since I still got about 30 to 40 minutes or so. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell. Skip this. Don't need to hear it again for a second time. Alright, so... Okay, so we just start off with the basics. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, so item. Now, I'm not sure if the board is randomized. It's this one. Severed hand. Okay, let's do the Holy Cross. Now, I'm not sure if the board is actually randomized, because I remember that's where that was in the. Let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it is randomized. 
So, entering a card game. We don't need to watch that again. All right, you ugly looking motherfucker. All right, so two death cards. All right, so a joker. What you got there, buddy? Safe. Another joker. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, give up that finger there, buddy. All right. Now. Safe. Oh, lost another finger. So he had the two two death cards. So now there's none. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Let me turn on the THX spatial audio for this game. It's cause it's still set the stereo mode. I forget that. I have to do that every time with a new game with that software. Not sure if it enhanced or changed the sound a little bit on your end, but I think it did get a little bit louder for mine. Alright. And then, oh, three jokers. Select either hand. Death card presents are all removed. If none, lose a finger. But, ah, I just fucked myself. Oh, never mind, because I selected him. Okay. Because I thought, all right, whatever. Okay, so because I selected him and he had no death cards. Okay, because I thought... Because I know if you select yours and there's no death cards, you lose a finger. But I thought if you try and pin it on him and he has no death cards, it's the same concept. Alright, so... Three death cards. Alright, safe. Let's go. Lose that finger there, buddy. Down to that pinky. <laughs> Safe. What you draw on? Safe. All right, safe. Come on, let's go. Draw that death card. Draw that death card. Something tells me that I probably have it. Oh, safe. Death card. 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 Yeah. On this game. No. I mean, I gotten... This game is different than Buckshot Roulette, but... Win? No. But I have progressed a little bit further than I did in Buckshot Roulette. Alright, so let's go up here. Alright, so that's just a blank spot. Alright, another item that we get to collect for free. Alright, so we, what's this one again? Force your opponent to draw their current hand. So we'll take that, just in case. Alright. Now, go up. Oop, another item. Alright, let's go. This one, discard all cards in your current hand. Alright, so we'll take that. Alright, back to the... Good. 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 Alright. Alright, another item now. Alright, let's see what kind of item selections do we get this time. So... Matchbox... Let's go... Ah, uh, yeah. We already have an infrared camera, so let's go with the matchbox. Alright, so I think our tray is full, so we'll, we'll just hold off on uh, adding the matchbox. Okay, so now we're going into another card game. Now, once you complete a circle, you have to go, if you go over it again, does it, uh, I don't know. So, four death cards, so hopefully it's two and two. Alright, so we got a save card, that's good. 
What you drawing there, buddy? Give up that finger. Bite off that thumb. All right. So now there's three death cards remaining for this hand. And oh, there goes my thumb. Hack it off. Oh, you got another death card. So there's one death card left, which means either I have it or he, or he's got the third one, the last one. Yep, yep, so he's got it. That worked out for me, so now he's down to two fingers right off the bat. <laughs> whine like a little biatch. Trust me, I probably whine like a bitch too, because who the hell wants to fucking lose a limb while they're fucking conscious? Fuck, I got three death cards. Of course, he only gets one. Alright, so let's, um... Let's force him to reshuffle. Surprise, surprise! Use the Jack in the Box item during a card game. Okay, so... Wow, it really made much of a difference. So, it went from... Wait, did it go four to six? Okay, so now it's three and three. So, let's... Get rid of one of our death cards. Okay, so now it should be just two and two, which it'll be worth. Ah, fuck. Mm. Should I do the reshuffle now, or should I reveal my cards? Because. So it's a 50 50, because I think I started off with three death cards. Okay, so you know, let's just do this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and burn the safe cards real quick, and hopefully he'll get back-to-back -back death cards. All right, so that's one. All right, then we'll burn the next safe card. And then hopefully he draws the next death card. All right, cool. All right, match over. He did. Alright, now let me go ahead and add the matches to my tray. Alright, I will take those. Now I'm wondering why the last time I used the matches, why I didn't burn my hand. But anyways. Going into another card match. All right. All right, let's see here. So three, so one of us has, one of us will have two or one, or no, or one of us will be fucked over completely and have three cards. All right, so we're safe right there. And he's safe. All right, I'm safe. He's safe. All right, so... All right, so that's one death card down for him. All right, let's see, so... Knowing my luck, I probably have the last two. Yep, there goes that hand. And of course he had a safe card, so I probably have it. Yep. So I have two death cards in my current hand. He has one. We'll go fucking figure. And he has four fingers. I have three. Discard all cards in your hand. Fuck 
pocket. But now the de Wow, really? So the death card count still got three, so I'm still getting fucked over. Uh, I actually said he, it looked more like a character from Resident Evil than a, a Xenomorph, but if you want to look at the body part, then yeah. Alright, so that was a waste, so let me go ahead and burn these cards if I'm able to. Okay, so now it's one and one and one, or does he have two? I forget, but anyways. And of course, right off the bat, I picked the death card. All right, so he's he's she should have the death card, I think. Oh wait, so he already drew. All right, Joker. Come on, buddy, draw that death card. Death card, death card, death card, death card. God damn it. Alright, death card. Death card. Alright, second Joker. So I have three death cards, which fucking sucks. And how many death cards are you gonna have? Of course. I get three death cards, he gets one. Why would he get fucking... Alright, so now one more free card left. Or safe card, I should say. <sighs> Alright, so he is down to two fingers. I am down to two, which means I am going to be fucked in this round. Oh, shit. Never mind. Here we go. So he's got... Oh, so that means he's got two death cards then. Alright, because all the death cards were removed from my hand. Alright, save card. What? <laughs> I thought all the death cards got removed from my hand, though. Because I had the third Joker. That's some Billy Jack bullshit. Okay, so I got two death cards. Alright. He's got... How many is he going to get? Oh, so he's got two death cards, too. So hopefully he draws a death card before me. Nope. All right, so now we permanently lost two fingers for them when we get into the next card match. Son of a bitch. All right. Take me to the exit. Alright, another card match, and I don't think I have any items to boot. Alright, ugly, let's go. So, three. So, one of us has two, or one of us got fucked over and has all three. Alright. Knowing my luck, I have... Oh, he's got one so far. Knowing my luck, I probably have the fucking two. There's one death card. Oh, okay, so he had two. I only had the one, so that's good. But he still has an advantage over me because he has... Three fingers versus my two. Joker or safeguard? Okay, so I got no death cards. That's, that's nice. So he has two. Joker. Safe. Joker. Safe. Safe. I think this is the first time that I've actually had 
a hand with no death cards. Say so goodbye to that finger there, buddy. That's right, you're whining like a bitch. Alright, so you have the death card. Wait a second. Why didn't he lose a finger? He had the death card. <laughs> well, I probably lost now. Yep, I lost this round again. <clears throat> So now the next time I get into a card match, I'm only be down to a pinky, which sucks. So if I lose, then it's game the fuck over, man. All right, let's see. I don't think real any items are going to do me any good now. Because I'm only down to one fucking finger. Force the enemy to take another turn. The matchbox I can do me no good at the, the right now with only one fucking finger, so. <laughs> Alright, and here's where I die. Or lose, I should say. So, two death cards. Joker. Alright, losing that finger. Safe. Joker. Oh, Joker. So... Please be me. Nope, I lost. I guess he had the death card. <laughs> This ain't Dragon Ball Z there, Solus. Oh, that's game over. Lost. Alrighty, so... That will do it for today's uh, stream slash episode. So... <clears throat> yeah. That sucked, so... Started off doing pretty good, but then... Just like... Uh, did a little bit better than I did in Buckshot Roulette. That's 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 for sure. But other than that, yeah, uh, I, it pretty much uh, sucked ass. <laughs> but until then, take care of yourselves.